Railingsource.com here and we're looking at a Zenith uh, Defy Power Reserve watch. Um, this is the cla from the classic line of Defy watches so it's not one of the crazier looking uh, extremes that you see. Um, and this one is 43 millimeters in size as opposed to the larger 46.5s such as the uh, arrow and the open. Um, display back which is very common with the Zeniths and this one uses the newer elite caliber movement as opposed to the El Primero which is sort of what Zenith is famous for because since it's been used in all sorts of brands even Rolex and Concord um, and some others uh, the elite caliber was developed in 1994 and is a very thin and a uh, small caliber uh, and actually probably a very underrated caliber um, as you can see it's, it's a pretty nice looking movement and it's a double winding rotor as you can see the some of the bridges there are sort of a black color which is some sort of special material that Zenith has used in some of the Defy watches very nicely decorated. This one has the power reserve complication there. So as you can see if I unscrew the crown and wind it up it slowly gets bigger as it reaches a full charge. And uh, the date there. And one interesting thing about this caliber is, and I just, I just found this out, is that the date um, can move backwards as well as forwards 28, 29, back to 28. Um, it's actually the first watch I've ever owned that I realized actually has a uh, backwards and forwards moving quick set date. So that's kind of a neat feature. Um, unidirectional rotating bezel with the Zenith stars which is part of their logo as you can see there. Swiss made watch of course. Uh, primarily brushed with uh, this sort of a neural pattern on the, the dial which is Geo shade and a similar pattern that continues down the bracelet and it's a double folding butterfly clasp and with a Zenith engraved on the inside of it. Um, I thought one thing was about this bracelet that was kind of annoying was op um, undoing it. Um, you need two screwdrivers, one on each end to unscrew it, and it's kind of a hassle. Uh, it'd be nicer if they did something like similar to Breitling, where you just have to turn on one side, or any of the other brands, because this is actually the first one that I've actually seen where every single link needs to be unscrewed from both sides, which is a pain. But it's worth it in the end, you only have to do it once, and as you can see, it's a pretty good size for my wrist. I really enjoy the 43mm size, it's very wearable. No crown protectors on this watch, which is... Uh, I'm not sure how much I like that. I, I tend to prefer the look of a watch with a crown protector, um, but it's not enough to deter me from buying it and keeping it. Um, I'm going to keep this watch for a while because I really do enjoy it. more shots of the watch. Some polished flats here. Though most of the watch is, is brushed. Sign star on the crown. And I'm going to give you one more look at the movement. Very nice movement. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, Zenith Classic Defy Power Reserve. White dial. Have a good one.